Artificial lashes come in an assortment of lengths and range, from full strips to clusters to tabs. All the implements you will need for this treatment can be found in your chapter. Prior to beginning the service, be sure to wash your hands and put on gloves. Discuss with the client during consultation the desired length of lashes and the effect she is looking to achieve. If your client wears contact lenses, she should remove them before beginning the application. Make sure your client's head is at a comfortable working height and the place is properly lit. You will want to work from behind or to the side of your client. If you will be applying lashes as part of the makeup application, do not apply mascara until after the lashes are in place. This helps the adhesive to adhere properly. If your client is already wearing mascara, remove it carefully with a makeup remover. Brush your client's eyelashes to make sure they are clean and free of foreign matter, such as mascara particles. If the client's lashes are straight, you can curl them with an eyelash curler. Strip Lashes When applying strip lashes, use tweezers to carefully remove the eyelash band from the package. Then, starting with the upper lash, check the length of the band as it may be too long. Use your fingers to bend the lash into a horseshoe shape so it fits the contour of the eyelid. Use scissors to trim the outside edge as needed. Apply a thin strip of lash adhesive to the base of the false lashes, then allow a few seconds for it to set. Apply the lashes by holding the ends with your fingers or tweezers and positioning the shorter lash end at the inner corner of the eye towards the nose. Position the rest of the band as close to the client's own lashes as possible, not on the skin. Use the rounded end of a lash liner brush or tweezers to press the band on without adhering the brush or tweezers to the glue. Be very careful and gentle. Reposition the band as needed before the adhesive is dry and remove any excess glue. Rebrush the lashes to blend and shape in place. If you are applying lashes to the lower lash line, follow the same steps as for the upper lashes. Lower lashes can be applied above or below the client's natural lash line. Individual lashes. If you are applying individual lashes, space them evenly across the lash line. Using tweezers, dip the lashes into the adhesive, then place longer lashes on the outer edges of the eye, medium length lashes in the middle, and short lashes on the inside by the nose. Before applying, you can cut the lash lengths to fit as needed. Gently use the rounded end of a lash liner brush or tweezers to press the lash on without adhering the brush or tweezers to the glue. Reposition as needed before the glue is adhered. You can then rebrush the lashes as needed and remove any excess glue from the lash line. You can complete the look with liquid eyeliner and a coat of mascara to blend the lashes together. Show your clients their finished look and remind them that their lash enhancements and the adhesive should be removed nightly by saturating two large swabs with adhesive remover and stroking the lashes until completely removed. <laughs>